Born on July 10, 1856 in Smiljan, Croatia, Nikola Tesla was the fourth of five children of a priest and an inventor. What marked the birth of the Serbian-American boy was a lightning storm. Nikola Tesla attended primary school in his hometown and was introduced to subjects such as arithmetic and religion. A few years later, the family moved to a city nearby. His real education and formation of his interest, however, began when he started high school in Karlovac. As shared in his writings later in life, his fascination with electricity was born from after he had the chance to see some demonstrations by his physics teacher. This seemed like magic to him and he wanted to know more about the power of electricity and how it worked. He graduated a year earlier before it was time to attend university. Another thing that made the boy special was his photographic memory. He could memorize books, images and even 3D structures. Nikola Tesla returned to his place of birth, Smiljan, and right after that, while still a teenager, he contracted cholera. He was bedridden for nine months and almost died. After surviving, he needed a change and some spiritual growth, so instead of joining the army, he ran away to explore the mountains in his country and read a lot of books. According to him, this experience helped him recover completely both physically and emotionally. The Technical University of Graz marked the next stage of his life. By diving deeper into math and physics and even philosophy, his love for electricity grew. He was one of the best students, never missing a lecture and passing all his exams. He was so hardworking that his lack of rest made his professors worried. And one even sent a letter to his father to warn him that Tesla's never-ending studying might lead to burnout. In 1879, his father passed away and that affected Nikola Tesla more than anything else before. He stopped putting any effort into school-related activities and instead of focusing on education, he chose gambling. That led to losing big amounts of money including his tuition fee and ultimately never graduating. Tesla also suffered a nervous breakdown. It would not be his last. In 1881, Tesla moved to Budapest after recovering from his breakdown and he was walking through a park with a friend reciting poetry when a vision came to him. There in the park, with a stick, Tesla drew a crude diagram in the dirt, a motor using the principle of rotating magnetic fields created by two or more alternating currents. His first job was in Budapest, where he worked as an electrical engineer. The telephone company wasn't doing well back then, but was about to change a few months later. Nikola Tesla contributed to the business in many ways and helped the company evolve. It was believed that at a time while working in the park, the idea of the AC motor was born. In 1882, he moved to Paris and started working for the Continental Edison Company. During one of his sleepless nights of sweat, he had the chance to see Edison for the first time. Two years later, after that, he moved to the States as his manager wanted Tesla with him there working at the machine works. He worked in New York for around a year and Edison was impressed with the ideas and inventions of the young man, but at the same time openly shared his belief that they were utterly impractical. After being offered a fortune to improve Edison's DC, and after getting the job done only to find out that the famous investor was joking about actually paying that much, Nikola Tesla quit and never looked back. Tesla Electric Company was formed thanks to the financial support of two men Nikola Tesla met who had experience not just in running companies but also knowing how to advertise inventions and get their investments back. The first laboratory of the inventor was opened right there in Manhattan where he just recently worked in Edison's headquarters. The rivalry between Edison and Tesla existed for years, though, and even became known as the War of the Currents. Tesla eventually won the war and helped bring electricity to the US. That happened as a result of his collaboration with George Westenhouse, an industrialist and inventor who noticed the brilliant mind of Tesla after reading one of his papers. 
Years later, Nikola Tesla demonstrated radio transmission, but his laboratory was destroyed after a fire while he was preparing the first real radio signal. Guglielmo Marconi, an inventor and electrical engineer from Italy, took his idea and used the same technology. The invention of the radio was credited to him. Not just that, but he also won a Nobel Prize for it in 1909. What upset Tesla even more was that Thomas Edison sponsored the whole project. That turned into a court battle. Unfortunately, the truth came just after the death of Nikola Tesla when the US Supreme Court admitted the patent for the radio was initially being Tesla's idea. Tesla never married. He had affections though, that for pigeons. He had fed them all the time during his work in the park. There was one pigeon in particular that he considered special and even said he loved him as a man loves a woman. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another exciting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be pleased if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss other exciting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.